doing here? Why don't you want to do something to make your house cleaner? And I'm not the only person that feels this way. So my thought is when, you, when you're cleaning your house, taking care of your family, the place where you live, this is an act of love. And I'll tell you a little story about how I came to this conclusion. So when my son was a little baby, he was a tiny little baby, newborn baby, and everybody was using disposable diapers by now. And you know everybody's still using disposable diapers unless you happen to be somebody who's going more green. Um, but disposable diapers is a huge industry. But his poor little skin, for whatever reason, couldn't handle those plastic di uh, diapers. And I don't know if they're better now than they were 35 years ago. But he couldn't, he couldn't use the disposable diapers. He had a horrible, horrible, horrible rash. It was terrible. So what I had to do was use cloth diapers. Now, I don't know if you've ever cleaned cloth diapers, but it is not fun, okay? So we'll go through that process real quick from start to finish. He does his little number two, and that has to go in the toilet, okay? So you've got a toilet diaper that's, you're going like this in the toilet to get that off of it, and it's not completely clean. And then now you've got this sopping wet diaper that you have to wring out. That's pretty gross, okay? And then you put it in a diaper pail. Now there's two ways to do this with the diaper pail. I've tried them both. Um, they both have their pluses and minuses. You can just wring the diaper out, put it in the diaper pail, put the lid on it and be done with it until it's time to wash. Or the other thing that I tried and actually, well, when you just put them in there and you take the lid off, some of the cons to that is, first of all, the smell is atrocious. And secondly, depending on how long it is sitting there and all the other environmental things that go in with it, you run the risk of mildew on top of the other smells that come from dirty diapers. The other thing that I tried, and this, this has its pluses and minuses too, is to fill that bucket with water and borax, okay? You all know about borax, you can buy that in the grocery store. And after you rinse the diaper out, you put it in there and you let it soak in this borax water until you're ready to wash it. Now, the pluses, well, the pluses on that is it helps reduce the staining, it prevents the mildew, it does take some of the odor off, and it's kind of like a pre-wash, sort of. But that water gets really, really mucky very quickly, trust me. So, now you have two options with this, because you've got to uh, you know, it's almost the size of a five gallon bucket. That's how big a diaper pail is. So that's a lot of water, a lot of pee pee, a lot of poo poo, a lot of icky, 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 icky stuff. You can either reach your hands in there and wring that out and put the diaper in the washing machine, or you can pick this big, heavy ass, bu this big bucket up and pour it into the, the washing machine. I don't know about front loaders with this one, okay? I had a top loader at the time. Front loaders really were only in larger mats back then um, but you pour it into this into the top of the washing machine and spin that nasty ass I did it twice spin that water out okay but if you're like me first of all I'm kind of short second of all that much water's heavy so you could end up spilling it that's another mess and it still gets kind of stinky either way you do it so anyway I I was decided to go with the second option with, because of the two, that one seemed the less, the lesser of the two evils. Okay, so pour that water into there, spin it out, go through the process of washing the diapers. Which for me, I had to use either downy or draft. I don't know, and, and I had to rinse with vinegar, no fabric softener, nothing extra, nothing to make them smell good, as basic as it could be. So at this point, I'm spinning, I'm pre-washing. Then I'm washing. Sometimes I did use bleach. I had to to get them white. And then another precautionary thing that I had to do. I could put them in the dryer, and I did sometimes, especially in the colder weather. But I like to hang them out on the line because the sun is also a natural sanitizer. The UV rays from the sun will actually help kill 
bacteria that's in the diapers and it also helps whiten them so I did that and I, I learned to love washing the diapers especially the end part when I would take them off, I like line drying clothes anyway that's just my personal preference but anyway when I would take these diapers off of the, the, the clothesline or even just bringing them out of the, the dryer and I would sit there and I would fold those and it gave me time to reflect on how much I went through for this little baby who couldn't do anything for himself so that his bottom wasn't raw and it occurred to me that this was truly an act of love because a lot of it wasn't pleasant so taking that as he's grown up and so on and so forth and I've had other children and and just improving upon myself and things that are important to me and my own personal growth realizing that having a clean space and a pleasant space it's not just about the diapers it's also about where I live and who I love so laundry is one of my favorite things to do believe it or not I know a lot of people hate it but I love it because I can think about each one of those people as I'm folding their clothes not so much I don't think about it so much in the beginning process as I'm sorting and throwing things into the washing machine other than I don't want to ruin this piece of clothing um, but it's the end part when I'm folding it and I'm putting it away and I think about things like how much I love my children and how much joy they bring to my life or how much I love my significant other and what he does for me and how much he means to me and so this little thing that I can do helps me express my love to them and it's the same thing you can apply that to a lot of people apply it to cooking but it's not just the cooking it's the part afterwards when the kitchen's a mess cleaning that up because now you have the opportunity once your kitchen's clean to repeat the process and do it again you can cook something that you love for people that you care about and the same thing with the rest of your house getting that living room clean so that everybody can sit down and watch a movie together or you can bring your your guests in and not it's not even about feeling embarrassed, but just bringing them in and having them in your presence and enjoying their company. And another area that I really, really pay very close attention to, and I even do this with my customers, is making the bed. Making the bed to me is one of the most important, not a necessarily important task, but the vibe that you put into it. So I always try to make that part when I'm doing it, especially for other people, is good vibes. I try to get good vibes out and I really like making the beds for kids. And so when I make the beds for children, if they have stuffed animals and little things that you know that they keep on their bed, I always try to arrange them in a certain way. This past week um, I was cleaning a child's bedroom and I was making the bed and they had this huge bear I mean this bear was like this half the size of me and so I put him on the bed and then usually I just tuck all the animals in but then I thought well you know I took some of the medium-sized animals there was an elf you know that alien life form so that must have been an old toy and then um, another bear I think a smaller bear regular size bear and I kind of tucked them up underneath the arms of the big bear and then I put the other ones around and, and I don't know, I just think it's fun to arrange their animals so that they look like they're just kind of, you know, palling around on the bed. But even the grown-up beds, as I'm making them, and, you know, some people have more accessories for their bed than others. I always try to find some way to make it look like when I made this bed, I was doing something special for that person so that when they get into the bed, I really want them to rest and and get a good night's sleep and just have a, a positive experience in that bed. I, I, you know, beds, we're there for a third of our life and, that, and that's why I think that it's really important to give good vibes. Even if, if they're going there to mourn or cry or something like that, you know, work out a problem, it still needs to be a good vibe in that bed. So yeah, that's an act of love. And I, and I do it for my customers even. So I just wanted to put that out there in your head what are you thinking when you're cleaning are you mad at your family for not helping are you mad at somebody or are you doing this because you love yourself and you love the people that you live with anyway that's my thought for today hope that's made it motivational please put comments below if you have any questions 
Don't feel, be afraid to ask. Thumbs up. I like those little thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.